Three days after Jesus died on the cross, two of his disciples were walking along the Emmaus Road, talking about all the sad things that had happened. When there came a stranger up to them, who asked them, what are you talking about? Both of the disciples looked at this stranger, and one of them said, Are you the only person in all of Jerusalem who has not heard of the events that took place? You see, there was a man who we loved very much, a prophet named Jesus, who we thought was going to save the world and save our people, but he died. He was killed. The stranger said to them, well, don't you know, haven't you read the scriptures that there would be someone, a savior of the world to come who would need to suffer first, but in the end would change everything through his love and his message to the people. Now, these disciples, they were amazed by what this man had to say and all the things he explained to them. And so when they got to the end of the road, they invited him into their own house. When the stranger joined them in their house, he did something rather odd. He took the bread and he blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to each of them. And in that moment, they realized that this stranger was no stranger at all, but Jesus himself resurrected to be with them. And the two disciples, just as they realized it, Jesus vanished. And the two disciples, they looked at one another and they said to each other, It must have been Jesus, for weren't our hearts burning along the way as he spoke with us? There's a fun kind of art called optical illusions, where a drawing of one thing is revealed to also be a drawing of another. Here are a few famous examples. This is a drawing of a young woman. But look again. It's also a drawing of an old woman. This is a drawing of a rabbit. But if you look again, it's also a duck. Or here's a drawing, an image of a vase. But if you look from another viewpoint, it's also two faces in profile. Your activity for today is to make a drawing that looks like a drawing of one thing, but if you look closer, there's something new to be revealed. For my drawing, I made a drawing of the two disciples at dinner, but there's a hidden Jesus. If we look through the eyes of faith, we can see him. Here at the table where we've invited him. Can you draw a picture with a hidden Jesus? If we just look closely enough and we listen with our hearts, we can feel Jesus's presence when we invite him into our homes. So today we're going to ask God to help us see through the eyes of faith. When we look around our life right now and the people that are with us, we might get stuck in seeing it a certain way, maybe a way that feels unfair or sad or angering or boring. But if we blink and pray and look around again, we may just be able to see God's blessing and God's presence in the very same room and the very same people and the very same life we were looking at before. Let us pray. Gracious God, give us the eyes of faith to see you in the world around us, to be grateful for your presence when we're with other people. Help us to trust when our hearts are burning with joy and gladness, and help us to reach for you and in continually invite you into our homes. Help us to recognize you in the breaking of the bread, in our prayers, and our conversations with others. Be present with those who need your presence most this day, with those who are sick, who are working hard, 
who are lonely, who are sad, who are grieving. Light our hearts on fire, Lord, with your love and your joy and the resurrection of Easter. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.